love Melbourne. A cab. There were so many police at the airport today. Did you go up and tell them how much you hated them? Yeah, I did. I spat in their faces. That's hot. I thought they enjoyed it. <laughs> I made it to Melbourne. Yes. It was absolute chaos. Also, got my present from my friend Mikey. <gasps> Finally, I have my hard copy of my new favorite book. I got upgraded to business class, which was very, very surprising. It was absolute chaos because there was a cyclone. So it was totally crazy, but I'm very, very grateful and I'm so happy to be here. Also, I'm gonna read some manga. My new favorite anime, Chainsaw Man. I have no idea where I put my tripod for my phone. I have literally no clue where it is. I've just searched the entire house and I can't find it. So if this angle looks really scuffed, it's because it is. But I wanted to show you the books that I picked up in Melbourne. I went to Readings where I got this. I think this is so cute. I love this little tote. I am a sucker for a little canvas tote moment. I am obsessed. So I got a few books from Readings and I think I got one from Demix. Maybe I got a couple from Demix. I don't quite remember. I also got a cute little bookmark. I don't really have that many bookmarks. Um, so I wanted to get another one, of course. And this one is a Gemini one. So we love that. That's my star sign, obviously. Skillful, social, lively, energetic, adaptable. I don't know if we still have Dimex. I feel like we used to have Dimex in New Zealand, and I don't think we do, but we don't have a readings, at least. I know that much. I'm so happy about this book. I got The Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires by Grady Hendrix. So happy to get this one. I also did want, this is from readings, I also did want to buy Grady Hendrick's new book, How to Sell a Haunted House, I think that's what it's called, but I didn't like the cover that they had, so I'm going to try and get it online and try and get another cover, but this one I'm so excited about, it's also, the cover's so nice, it's like, um, it's like that soft, 
soft kind of cover and also the blood is like a little bit shiny which i find really fun this is the ruthless lady's guide to wizardry oh my gosh look at these guidebooks that i'm just picking up this one i hadn't actually heard of but then the description of it just really really caught my eye it's like fantasy like historical fantasy um with like a little bit of a murder mystery who done it as well and that just sounds exactly right up my alley and it's just really pretty look at that isn't that pretty isn't that a pretty cover lovely love that i hate traveling with books because it makes me so scared that i'm gonna ruin them <gasps> i got all's well by mona award oh i've been wanting to read this forever and I've never seen it in person. I've never seen it in a bookstore. So I was like, why not? Just grab it. Just, oh, yes. I think it's really pretty. I've heard fantastic things. I'm very, very excited to read this one. Yes. And this one was just a fun one. This one was a cheap, pretty book. It is a really pretty copy of Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte really gorgeous like faux leather almost like bound and it was only 25 bucks which is an absolute steal and I just think it is gorgeous oh look at that so that's just gonna be a gorgeous addition to my shelves um and I absolutely love Jane it's my new one of my new favorite classics so I was very happy to find this and then I also do have one more book from our humble Wickles. I picked this up when I was in Wellington after I went to Melbourne. I shouldn't have spent this much money on this book, but I couldn't help myself. It is The Last Tale of the Flower Bride by Roshani Chochki. This was way too expensive, but I heard about this book in like new releases of 2023 um up and coming lists and i just thought it sounded absolutely enthralling also v.e schwab and holly black are saying that it's good high praise like a really twisted fairy tale kind of vibes and i'm into that instantly absolutely love that so yeah, I just had to get my hands on this. I shouldn't have paid so much for it. But I love it. I think it's going to be fantastic. Fantastic. So that's my little haul from Melbourne. And now I'm going to pack for Japan. Because I'm going there very, very soon. And I also thought I would kind of combine these. So they're like a little travel vlog slash reading vlog. Uh, I am going to be reading, well, I'm currently reading, what's it called? A Day of Fallen Night, which is the prequel to Priory of the Orange Tree. I haven't read Priory yet, but um, me and some friends are doing a buddy read of A Day of Fallen Night, and I've got it on my Kindle, so I can easily take that traveling with me, and that should entertain me for the very long flight that I'm about to go on. So yes, I can't wait to read that and also show you guys Japan. Yes, see you soon.
in Japan. Oh my gosh. I haven't really done much like chatting in these like vlogs because I've been busy, obviously. Um, I am here by the pool. You guys can see. Oh, not the foot. By this gorgeous pool. And I have my Kindle. And I'm reading a little bit more of A Day of Fall and Night. I don't know what that sound is, by the way. I thought it was frogs. I can't see any frogs. But yes, I'm not sure just how much reading I will actually get done. But, um, I'm excited to show you guys a little bit of my travels. Anyways, I have been doing some hiking here on Yakushima. It is a very small island, um, off mainland Japan, probably closest to, like, Osaka. And it is absolutely beautiful. It's, like, super tropical, um, which really surprised me. It reminds me a lot of, uh, Samoa, which is my home country it's just so beautiful um i went to the forest that was inspired princess mononoke and gorgeous 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 amazing incredible i'm obsessed anyways um and i'm leaving today to go to kyoto i obviously do want to go book shopping but of course it'll be a lot in japanese and i can't read japanese i can read a little bit I can read like hiragana and katakana but I can't read kanji so I don't know I kind of do want to get maybe some manga just just for display <laughs> just because it might be pretty anyways yes it is a beautiful beautiful day I just wanted to check in and catch up while I'm chilling by the pool
welcome back from Japan. You might not have heard my voice in a little while because I filmed most of my clips without audio. <laughs> I wanted to show you guys the books that I picked up in Japan. Uh, it was only three. I only got three books, obviously, because I can't read Japanese. So <laughs> I thought maybe I should limit myself to the amount of books. Um, also, I bought so much stuff that I, I, could, I simply could not have fit more books in. So I think it was very good of me to only get three, actually. Just saying, kudos to me. I picked up one manga in Japanese, and that is the first, the first, what are they, the first, the first volume, whatever, the first book of Chainsaw Man, and this is from uh, the bookstore in Ginza, the super famous one, Tsutaya Books. I've already like read some of the manga in English, and I've also already seen the full anime, so this is more of like a, a little collection piece for me. Oh yeah, they've actually got the hiragana of all the kanji, so this could actually be really good. Because I can only read hiragana and katakana, I cannot read kanji. I got this one. This is from the Pokemon exhibition that um, I think I included a couple of clips in. However, we weren't actually allowed to film, so shh, don't tell anyone. Those were really, really sneaky clips of mine. This book's actually in English. They have books in Japanese and in English, so that's really cool. It's all about the artists that created these amazing um, Pokemon crafts that I got to see in real life and the exhibition was just so freaking cool that I was like, uh, I, I have to have something to remember this by. I am super Pokemon obsessed so yes, I had to get this. It's very pretty and I can look back on it and not just look at the crappy photos that I took. If you can hear weird sounds it's because Ivu is playing with plastic. She loves this pile of plastic I have in my room. Anyways, so all these local Japanese like master craftsmen created very special um, edition crafts and their specialities but they're all like Pokemon themed or have Pokemon in them and on them which is really really cool. So some were making with like glass and some with like lacquerware or metal or ceramics. Oh, it was so, so cool. I think it's actually on, it's on in Kanazawa until June, I think. And I managed to see it on like the second day that it opened. So that was super awesome. And then I actually got a book from the Studio Ghibli store in Tokyo, which is this um, art of Howl's Moving Castle. Now, I would have wanted to get Spirited Away as well. I love Howl's Moving Castle. It's one of my um, favorite Ghibli films. So they just tell you about all of the art and designs and everything in there, which is super cool because it's such a beautiful film. I would have wanted to get Spirited Away, but they I don't think they had any Spirited Away. And they were limited on the ones they had actually in English. So they had some of these art books for like, a bunch of different Ghibli films, but some of them were only in Japanese and I kind of did want them in English because I do actually want to go through and read it. <laughs> so yeah, that is my little book haul from Japan. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. I know it's a little bit different just because of how I was filming it was kind of sporadic. It was more of like a holiday rather than like a working holiday kind of thing. Um, but I really hope that you enjoyed seeing some bits and pieces of Japan, some of my very favorite parts. I will see you guys very, very soon. Now that I am back home, I can start filming again properly and post more YouTube videos. So thank you all for all your support. Thank you again. Have a wonderful day slash night wherever you are. Mwah!